Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to Watchbox, and thanks for logging on. If you love this watch, email me, tmasso at thewatchbox.com, your purchase and pricing email question line for buying this or any watch you see on any Watchbox platform. Please reach out to me directly, email tmasso at thewatchbox.com. Today, we're discussing a watch launched in late 2018 for the 2019 model year. This is the Grunefeld 1941 Principia, the first automatic winding watch from Tim and Bart Grunefeld of Oldenzaal in the Netherlands. This Dutch-built watch in stainless steel is 39.5 millimeters in diameter, it's 10.6 millimeters thick, and from lug tip to lug tip it is 47 millimeters with a 20 millimeter spacing between the lugs. We'll zoom out a little bit, throw it on my wrist, which is 16 centimeters in circumference, and you can see it wears well. It's smaller than the previous 43.5 millimeter cases. The brothers prefer the bigger watch, but their clients asked for something smaller, and thus the 1941 case was born. You can see it's flat enough to fit underneath a tight dress sleeve, so no issues there. It's also relatively narrow across the wrist, so this watch could be worn on a wrist as small as, in all likelihood, 13 and a half centimeters circumference. This watch has bite, literally. Python leather. How often do you see that light blue to match the turquoise of the dial. You can see there's also a little bit of a gradient in there that's sort of native to the material. There's bolstering to give it thickness. The edge is sheer cut, showing you the layers of leather. We have a black stitch on the underside, a signal orange, and this is of course Dutch orange. The Grunefelds are out of the Netherlands, and this is made in Holland, so Dutch orange, orange army for followers of Dutch sports. You can see we have a lovely stainless steel buckle to match the case. It has a little bit of the fluting of the lug profile. You can see FT on the case as well as the buckle, probably meaning FT or made this case. That is a company out of the... Swiss region, owned by Richemont, so that's where the case comes from. The crown is fascinating, conical and knurled with the Grunefeld logo on the outer face, and then we have a crystal over a dial that is stepped at center, and you can see it has a little bit of a polished inner chaptering. We have black polish at the center of the hands and a black polished cannon pinion. We have fired blue alpha style hands, applique and fasted black polished indices. You can see that there's a sub-register that has its own polished chaptering. It is inset even below the level of the center dial, and it too has a fired blue hand. These indices are really something. They twinkle like cut gems being micro-faceted and black polished across their entirety, and the hands are gorgeous. Good choice here to use the alpha style rather than the heavier dauphines. The case has a wonderful amount of sculpting. You can really see it. There's a little bit of a swell at 12 o'clock and 6 o'clock, and then a concave profile to the bezel. There's a concave, deep, grooved fluting to the lug hood, and then the profile has a recess. Turn it all over, and you can see the G06 movement, the first automatic winder from the Grunefelds. It features ceramic rotor bearings at center for higher efficiency, a 56-hour power reserve. It beats away at six beats per second. It's adjusted, as you can see, in six positions, not the chronometer standard of only five, and the movement is beautifully decorated. The 31 pivot jewels, partially contained within golden chaton, a nod to pocket watches, made the old-fashioned way. And speaking of the old-fashioned way, if you look at the bridges, they're shaped like the bell gable roofs of traditional Dutch buildings to let the snow fall off. We can also appreciate the fact that these bridges are made of stainless steel, which is notoriously difficult to finish. The Grunefelds showing their Audemars Piguet Renoi Papi pedigree by triple finishing these steel bridges. There's a mirrored bevel on the outermost face, then there's this raised satin channel, and then within a recess inboard of that channel, we have media blasting. You can see that the watch has a full balance bridge and a free sprung balance for better shock tolerance, and the balance bridge has been fully skeletonized, which is an impressive refinement. We have at least three separate finishes on the rotor, which is beautifully executed. Black polishing surrounding the bearing, and then the bearing itself features black polished screws and solarization at center. All of the wheels feature satination. The barrel features solarization, which you can see well here. And all of the screw heads are black polished with chamfered slots and chamfered circumference, and all of this water resistant to 30 meters. Reach out to tmasso at thewatchbox.com for purchase and pricing details.